Hi well, everyone, twitch.tv slash gamestager here. I have basically completely broken Devastator. I think I have now made it the best and easiest to use and easiest to build for class in the entire game. Before you think this is another multi-strike build, it's not. This is completely different. You could expect this video to be on every other Outriders YouTube in the coming days, maybe within the coming hours, as usual. So yeah, I theorycrafted this, I made it, and it ended up working extremely well. This was supposed to work when Despair stacked. They made Despair not stack, so it's not as good as it would be, but it's still pretty much the most broken thing in the game, I think. I almost beat Akril in one phase, but I did end up skipping all of the phases of her fight where I only have to do one single pillar. So this build gives you a less than one second cooldown on Gravity Leap, Boulder Dash, and Endless Mass. And it basically doubles your and it basically doubles your anomaly power. This is extremely easy to do. You do not need a bunch of legendary sets. You do not need to have a ton of good mods. You don't need a bunch of tier three mods. You need basically three mods that are extremely easy to get. And all of the set bonuses and all the legendary stuff would just be a bonus for it. But this build literally would work in all legendary armor. <laughs> the build I'm using, I'm going to show the whole thing. But in this guide, I'm going to show you basically the only basic parts that you need in the beginning to make it start working and then I will show you all the stuff I have on that made it even better but even with just the basic stuff it is already incredibly broken and I'll show you so the important mods first on your gun it's literally just first things first on an armor pierce gun so you want to have a gun with armor pierce on it and then you want to have the mod first things first first shot after every reload hits with armor piercing increased by 50 percent this is why this build is so busted and <laughs> And this is this is this is actually that little tier one mod that you basically start the game with is why this is such a disgusting build. So another mod that got a huge buff with this DLC, I'm gonna make an entire video about this, is the mod No Resistance Against the Fortified. It used to be increases resistance piercing by 50% of your armor piercing, but now it increases your resistance piercing by 100% of your armor piercing. And you could probably see where this is going now. You need the mod No Resistance Against the Fortified. And then you need the mod Unstoppable Force. This drops now on Devastator, but if you'd like to get it easy, if you have someone skip a Pyromancer to the Expeditions and run an Expedition, there is there is an armor piece that already has this Tier 3 mod on it, on Pyromancer, that you could grab and get. But this mod increases Anomaly Power by 50% of your Resistance Piercing, which is now buffed by 100% of your Armor Piercing. And the last hyper important mod to this build is Despair Gravity Leap. Enemies within the damage radius of Gravity Leap will receive two times more anomaly damage for five seconds. So that's it. Those are the mods you need. You have those basic mods and this build will be incredible. Everything else is a bonus and an add-on. And I'm going to show you the rest too, but I'm going to show you the build based on that so far. And then near the end of the video, I'll have it tagged to the bottom and I will show you like exactly what I'm running, which let me basically almost one hit Akriel. So the skills you want to run, you're going to want to run Gravity Leap. You could run Golem or Reflect Bullets. Golem, if you're going to do the melee build thing that I'm doing too, that is completely separate from the rest. It's still very good, but it is not it is not 100% important to the build. If you don't have the mod chip off the old block, you should run Reflect Bullets so that you could spam the extra anomaly power. If you do have chip off the old block, you're probably going to want to run Golem. So yeah, this build works best with Gravity Leap, one protection skill, and then either Boulder Dash, Endless Mass, or sometimes I run Earthquake just because my armor is stuck with it right now while I'm running the Seismic Set. This build works really good with Seismic Set, it works really good with the Death Marshal Set. Both of those sets will make this build incredibly good. Uh, I like running both, um, but Seismic Set so far seems better for me for bosses, and mobs are just so ridiculously easy at this point, I don't really need Death Marshal. But Death Marshal does make all the non-boss rooms go faster. And Death Marshal is also really good in Expedition bosses. It's just not good at the new bosses because they don't have ads around them. But Death Marshal, probably better than Seismic Set because it has better base mods than for any Expedition. But for the specifically for the Trials, the new bosses, Seismic Set seems better. Honestly, eventually I might even try to run this build with no legendaries whatsoever, but I just need better of better apocalypse gear first. But yeah, here is the class tree. It's really ugly. <laughs> I know. It's really like you would look at my class tree and you'll think, what is this guy doing? Like you look like you don't know how to play the game. But hear me out, okay? Just wait. I'm gonna show you the I'm gonna show you the secret sauce before I go over the class tree. This is the secret sauce right here. This is what brings everything together, is your PAX tree. Also, looks super ugly. This is an anomaly build, and I'm top tree. What am I doing? I'll show you. So, you could ignore all these perks. Who cares? 
go for the bottom one not the top you're not shooting your gun so grab this one but this is this is what we need this is the thing that is breaking the game combined with the gun combined with the resistance piercing combined with all of that together so increases your armor piercing by 20 percent reduce your kinetic skills cooldown by 50 percent of your armor piercing value so so yeah if you've been following along with all of the mods this single part of this skill tree is basically breaking the game and then i put the last good point over here an impact point uh you can put it in the top right one if you really want to get that 30 percent armor pierce during mobs but honestly it just it doesn't matter i i decided to put it in here for extra boss damage but anyway back to the skill tree so on the skill tree you're going to want to put these five up here you're getting a reduced kinetic skill cooldown and then you're getting two extra armor pierces is another 20 percent armor pierce which is also going to your resist pierce and then you're going to go all the way over here for the very last point. These You don't need these melees. If you're not going to be running the melee build that I am running, you don't need these. Uh, if you're going to be using, say, a bunch of boulder dash or a bunch of endless mass or earthquake or something and you don't want to run melees, you could save these three points and then this fourth point. And then you could go up here and grab pure anomaly or this and then maybe spamming earthquake might be fun for you. I, I like the melee part, and I don't even know if I can do the Ocreal thing without the melee part. But I will show you parts of the video where I am not using a melee build at all. Uh, I'm not using the melee thing, and it is still disgustingly good. I'm just spamming Earthquake and stuff. But yeah, so basically, this, so this video is kind of like multiple builds in one. I'm just showing the most important part, and then the other stuff is where you could like branch off and create your own, or just copy mine. But yeah, so, if, so for your gun mod... I, uh, first things first, an armor pierce is the most important. For the other mod, uh, very good ones to run are either Death Renome, which you don't have to fire, which is why it's so good for this. And because of all of the cooldowns, you always have your abilities up, so you're always getting that anomaly bonus. Uh, or Mage's Rage. I have Mage's Rage on one gun, and for certain bosses, I start off by getting the four stacks, and then I just switch over to my gun, my other gun. Ideally, my top like three choices for gun is going to be Armor Pierce with First Things First, Death Renome, and Fortress. Death Renome, Mage's Rage, or Death Renome Fortress. So those are like the four ideal builds. The, the, the ideal perks you want, Mage's Rage, Death Renome, Fortress, and then First Things First has to be on the gun. The gun has to be Armor Pierce. So right now you can see my Anomaly Power is only 225,000 when I'm equipping this gun, and my Armor Pierce is 50%. So it's still, it's whatever, you know, it's not, it's not amazing at all on this gun. And, and then watch what happens when I switch. So this is my 225,000. And then I switched my gun. This is before I fire the bullet. 357,000. So I've gained 150,000 already, right? Fire the bullet, reload. Now this is the thing, you're not going to shoot with this build like ever. Like the only time you're going to shoot is when you switch guns and then switch back because you need to shoot to reload to get it to park again. But you shoot, you reload, and now I've gone from 200,000 anomaly power to 400,000 anomaly power. So when I look at my stats, my armor pierce is 130%. My resistance pierce is 155%. And if you remember my mods, I have increase your anomaly power by 50% of your resistance pierce. And that is why that is why my anomaly power gets so high. I have a ton of other mods in here. So when I'm actually playing right now, it's going up to a million. And my apocalypse tier is not that high. If I was a lot higher up, uh, you would see a much higher damage numbers. So I'm sure you've seen videos with a lot higher damage numbers than what you're seeing in this video, but they are not actually doing as much health bar damage as me. Also, with this build, you are basically invincible. If you really need to, you could put Gravity Leap heals you by more if you want to, but you really don't need it because of the skill leech. And then in your pack tree, what you're going to want to do is you want to focus first on armor piercing, armor piercing first, and then resistance piercing, armor piercing because this is going to lower your cooldown and it's going to go to your resistance piercing anyway. So armor piercing is worth 10 armor piercing and 10 resistance piercing. Then you're going to do resistance piercing and then between cooldown reduction and anomaly damage are probably your next two best things. They don't really matter as much. What matters is the 10% resistance and the 10% armor. Armor first. That is the basics of the build. For my full build, I still haven't finished this yet. I still need a lot more to go. But for what I'm currently using to and for the melee damage and all that is I have seismic commander set on. The only thing that is causing bleed on my build is my melee, because I literally don't even need the seismic buff for anything but the boss. But these are the perks I've got on. Chip off the old block. This perk is absolutely incredible for the melee build that I'm running. Danger close, extra 6% anomaly power for any anyone in close range. So against like the boss, it will just be an extra 6%. But since it's a percentage, and my percentages are fluctuating, it keeps going like 6% off of my new anomaly power. 
which makes it just stack crazy. Anomaly Echo, honestly, this is like a god roll drop for me. Like, the Anomaly Echo is an absolutely incredible perk for Anomaly. You don't need it, but it does make you do more damage. It's really good. Uh, for my chest piece, a Golem of Death, it's good. Not necessary, but it's good. Then I've got Brawl and Claws. Again, those are for the melee build. That is how I almost killed Akril in one hit. For the legs, Seismic Commander legs are the best piece because they're the only one where you could actually get rid of a wasted mod. This is where I put Unstoppable Force and it has Tainted Blood on it. Panzer Drain, I don't need it, but it's nice sometimes when I'm using Earthquake. Uh, for the gloves, uh, again, wasted mod on Earthquake, but this is where I put my Resistance Piercing. And then I got lucky with Concussive Force. This is another mod that is making my melee do incredibly high amounts of damage. And the end of, at the end of a run, Concussive Force is actually like second to third in my, in my damage tree. And then the boots, another wasted mod, Gravity with Despair. So that is what I'm currently running. That is how I am doing so much damage and everything. But yeah, you could completely ignore all of the melee stuff. You could go for entirely utility if you want. Um, I run this with Death Marshal sometimes, and then w with Death Marshal, it's just I go mostly utility. I put Endless Mass has more range. Endless Mass causes bleed, vulnerable, all of that. And uh, I could literally spam Endless Mass every 0.6 seconds. So just like freaking almighty pull over and over again. I feel like freaking pain from Naruto. But yeah, that's the build. I hope you enjoy. When you do inevitably see other people make this guide of this exact build, remember where you saw it first. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I'm live on twitch.tv slash gamestager all the time. If you need help with Outriders, come swing by. And I will answer any of your questions, or if you just want to play with me, I could take some people through the trials. So yeah, thank you for watching. I will have more guides. I will make a firepower guide, but honestly, my issue right now is I made such a grotesquely broken build that any other guide I make is not going to be as good. Uh, they will be strong, but they're not going to be this. This is, I don't, I think, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this patched. But yeah, see you guys.